Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about the number one reason why traders cannot make profit in the long run. So you've probably been at this point already where you found something in the internet. Like you go on YouTube, you type in best trading strategy ever. You find a video, you find a strategy description, which seems to be solid. And you copy this exact strategy for a while it's going good for a week for a month but then your account size decreases and the strategy uh, starts to make um, losses and then you wonder is this even the right strategy and then you might switch the strategy you might go to another video you might find another strategy another one of these so-called trading gurus who say that they are the most and the best professional traders out there and they can make you a lot of monies, uh, money, but in the long run, they just can't. And this is the number one reason why most traders are not able to make any profit in the long run, because they just do not think. And it is a false assumption if you believe that you can go out there, put yourself into the battle of the financial markets without any knowledge, without any work that you put in and that you can make a living, that you can make a fortune just trading the financial markets. This is like so wrong. And you cannot just trust some random guru in the internet. You have to understand one thing. It is far easier to make money selling stuff around trading, like expert advisors, like strategies, like consulting, whatever, than actually making money trading. And this is why most of the trading gurus, like 90, 95, 99%, I don't, of course, I don't know an exact number, but I know that a lot of these trading gurus are fake. And this is because of this only reason. It's far easier to make money selling the dream than to make money actually trading. And a lot of people fall for this. And I was in the same position. When I started trading, I was looking for these trading gurus. I was looking for strategies in the internet. And I'm not saying that like every strategy has to be bad, but you cannot just go there and trust a strategy without testing it on your own. And this is what I want to ask you in this video. Do not go ahead and just trust anyone in the internet. Go ahead and make your own tests, make your own research, put in your own work because in the long run, this is what makes you profitable. And this is what gives you like the faith in a strategy or the belief that a strategy can be profitable in the long run because you made the tests and you've seen that it could work. I mean, I'm never saying that a strategy is going to make you rich or is going to make profits in the long run because it's just not right to say things like this because nobody can say this and if there is anyone who is saying that his or her strategy is making profits in the long run guaranteed it's just a lie because nobody can guarantee this nobody because nobody can see the future nobody can predict the market like so spot on that you can say that a strategy will be profitable in the long run and it's with any strategy that you will see good periods and bad periods. And that's also like one thing that a lot of marketers out there, like a lot of trading gurus that they use for their benefit because they will just develop a strategy or multiple strategies. They activate them in multiple charts on multiple accounts. And I mean, you will find one strategy account combination that is super profitable. And then you can just take this, put it on some market like the mql5 market and we can have a look at one or two products in a second and you can just put it there and say hey look at this this strategy made 10 percent in the last two weeks or it made 30 percent in the last month and people will buy this and this is not getting into my mind how many sales you can generate if you follow this marketing concept and to me personally it feels kind of wrong to do so because I'm pretty sure that most of the marketers on a marketplace like MQL5, they know what they're doing and they, they are still willing to put these strategies out there saying that it's the best strategy ever. And in the back of their mind, they know that it's just not true. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, the strategies do not have to be bad. But the marketing is just completely false. You cannot say that a strategy will generate constant profits in the future if it's not the case and nobody can guarantee this. And also there are other marketers who are straight up scamming the customers. They just put out programs that are over-optimized, that are history reading and stuff like this. This, I mean, we've seen this. I published so many back tests or so many product tests of MQL5 products on my channel already. And um, I mean, if you saw some of them, you saw that a lot of these back tests, they're only going great. But when they put it out on the market and test it on a live account or customers test it on a live account, like in one or two months, a lot of these systems lose. And I mean, it's really unlikely that a strategy can be profitable in the tester for the last 20 years. And then once it is out there for sale, it loses in one or two months. Like, it's just not realistic. So you can be pretty sure that there is some fishy stuff going on in the background. But yeah, let's have a look at one or two examples in the MQL5 store. And I want to show you one or two more things that you have to understand if you want to be a profitable trader in the long run, or at least if you want to understand trading. Because I feel like most people that are running around in this trading industry and that, that, that uh, and people that are trying to, to be a profitable trader and to be a millionaire trader, they simply do not understand anything about trading. And I want to clarify one or two things. So let's have a look at the screen here. Okay, so here on the screen, we can see the MQL5 market, which is the biggest platform for expert advisors, or if you want to say so, for strategies, for trading strategies in the um, entire internet, I think. And we can see there are a lot of strategies. And I'm observing this market like really closely, especially for the last few months. I was looking at um, the same EAs again and again to see how they dev develop, like how the performance is uh, changing, how the price is changing, which is really interesting, and how um, the live accounts that uh, marketers put on the sales page, how, how they are changing. And it, it's, it's really interesting. Let's have a look at one or two examples. For example, uh, let's have a look at this Unibot program. It is um, a Unibot program. I think there was a live signal before. Live signal is not available now. And I tested this program. And it's really interesting that um, when I tested the program, you can see the rating was really good back then. He had a lot of sales. The price, and this is really interesting, was a lot higher than it is now. And everything was just looking great. And this is because the back test looked great. But now that we waited some time, and if we have a look at the ratings again now, you can see there are a lot of bad ratings. And they are saying that it's some kind of scam. It's uh, The back test is not... Um, like the live performance performance is not reflecting the back test and stuff like this. And I mean, I did not buy this program, but I mean, I think we can just trust a lot of comments here if they are saying that um, like the life is way worse than the back test. And whenever we see something like this, I mean, it's a bit it's a bit fishy, right? So yeah. Also, um, like usually people write something like. Um, they will inc increase the prices in the future and um, uh, that's why you should buy now and then they increase the price but once the system starts to fall apart they will decrease the price so it's just <laughs> I mean my point is people on MQL5 they are trying to sell stuff and I mean everyone at some point in his life wants to sell something I mean you have to live you have to make some money but I mean, you have to be able to look in the mirror, right? You cannot say you will increase the price because you don't want too many copies of the EA around and then you decrease it later or you say this is the best EA, it never loses and then it loses. I mean, you, you have to be real at some point. And this is why um, I don't really like these marketing moves on MQL5. And you have to be really careful with, with uh, what programs you purchase on MQL5. So do not just trust anything. And this is not only like this one example. If we have a look at other programs, for example, I made the test with this, um, um, I called it the most expensive expert advisor. Um, it was this little crazy program. I mean, at this point, I know that the price of 30K was not like the real price. And it was just a temporary price because the seller didn't really want to sell any copies at this point, but it doesn't really matter. But still, um, this program is another program that 
is a typical Martingale grid program, which is going good for the most time and then it crashes. So you have to be really careful with what you buy and with whom you trust. And please do not be fooled by someone in the, in the internet. And um, yeah, there's another program, like the most wanted EA. It was doing really great. I mean, this salesperson, he made like 100 or 200K selling the program. But the, the real question is, is he really making money trading this program? And if we have a look at this program now, we can see that, um, yeah, the, the ratings are still quite good. And still, there's one thing that is a little bit weird, because, because if we have a look at the live signals, we can see there are two live signals and um, one live signal is just not doing good. So I assume that the ratings will be worse in the future, like wait one or two weeks. This is usually when the ratings get really worse after this happens. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's just weird that in the in the test, a lot of these programs run a lot better. And um, I mean, it's not like every test has to be a fake or something. I don't, I don't really want to attack any one um, of these sellers personally, because I mean, I don't know them personally, maybe they really believe that programs are really good. But I, I mean, like, in general, you can see a lot of these uh, marketers out there, they just want to sell. And it's nothing wrong. If the marketing is not like super weird. And if they're saying they, that the program can only generate profits, which is just a pure lie. So my what I want to say in this video is, please do not jump from EA to EA, from strategy to strategy, from trading guru to trading guru, because in the long run, it will not make you profitable. Like on the opposite, I want to say, do not trust anyone. Not one of these marketers, do not trust me, do not trust anyone, because you never know what's going on in my head, in the head of anyone else. A lot of people, especially in this trading sector, they do not want your best, they want your money. And this is just a fact, sadly, and this is why I sometimes hate being in this trading sector myself, because I know how corrupted it is, how many people just want to make big money and they do not care about their customers and stuff. So just be really careful, do not trust anyone. Instead, you should try to really understand what trading is. So, and this is, this is really important. Like trading is not winning every month. Trading is not winning every second month or so. You just cannot predict the future. Trading is the approach or trading is trying to be profitable in the long run. Like trying to find strategies, trying to find a trading approach that can make you money in the long run. And it's just not realistic to double your account every single month. If you see something like this, it's most likely, I mean, it, it's possible, but it's most likely luck. And therefore, please make sure that you understand trading. And for example, let's have a look at one last, last EA. And this is the Wolf Scalper EA. I mean, there are, there's stuff going on with the price. It's increasing and decreasing uh, like randomly, but I think it's just a thing on MQL5, like most people do this. But what you can see here, and, and for this EA, um, for this specific EA, I gotta be honest here, I do not think it's a scam. I do not think he manipulated the back test. I mean, maybe it's a little bit like over-optimized and stuff, but everyone can do, do his, his or her own back test. So I cannot really blame anyone for this. So I do not think like this is a history reader or anything. But what we can see is like this was one of the most sold programs in the last month because it was really doing great. But if we have a look at the live signals now, you can see in the last few weeks, there were a lot of losses in nearly all of, all of the live signals. And from this point on, the sales started to drop dramatically. And this is kind of showing how people on MQL5, how, how customers, people who buy the products, how they think about trading. They really think that you have to be profitable every single month, that you have to win every, yeah, in the best case, every trade. And this is just super unrealistic. So um, what I want you to do is like start developing your own strategies. In the best case, Try to automate one or two of your ideas and you can do this like if you just watch some videos on this channel. I mean, I don't even have to like, you don't even have to, uh, to buy my, my MetaTrader 5 programming course where you learn everything like from a beginner to an advanced level.
You don't even have to do this. You don't have to invest anything. You can just watch the free videos on my channel and just try to build one or two strategies and then test them in the strategy tester. And you will learn so much by just writing the code, like understanding how TPs and SLs are placed, how the trailing stops work, how, like, what, what changes if you change the TP and SL ratio. Like, it will have an impact on your hit rate. And there are some mechanisms in trading or in there are some economic principles that you can never outsmart. Like, if you have a TP that is five times as big as your SL, you will, like, for sure, you will have a hit rate, like, around 20%, plus, minus some percent. But on the long run, this is, like, given. You cannot outsmart this. Because if you would have a, a edge that is, like, really big, some large hedge funds would use this edge to make, make, uh, make, make a lot of money. So... Like, I mean, you can be profitable in the long run, but you cannot win every single month or every, every other month. And the best way to really understand how trading works, in my opinion, is to really automate strategies. Uh, for me personally, I learned so much when I automated trading strategies. So this is what I want to um, yeah, give you as an, as an idea, maybe what you could do to stop jumping from one strategy to another, st stop jumping from one trading guru to another and start doing the work on your own because in the long run, that's, in my opinion, the only thing that will get you somewhere. And if you just jump around from EA to EA, you, you, you will just lose money in the long run. So, um, yeah, just try to understand, try to learn about trading on your own. Do not trust anyone blindly and... Yeah, I hope that you can be profitable in the long run and that you do not lose money. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this little insight. Um, and let me know what you think about this in the comment section. So I'm really interested what you think. Like, maybe, or just write me. Did you buy one of these EAs? Have you been scammed, actually, by one of these sellers? Um, just just write it. I mean, we can only, we can learn from the mistakes of others so it's not a bad thing if you if you fall for someone it's just um yeah just put it in the comment section so everyone can take away something from it um thanks for watching have a great time good trades bye, -bye.